Your feet are incredibly important in pickleball. In fact, they're the foundation of your game. Before you swing, your feet must first be established. Feet first, swing second. If you neglect your footwork, your game could suffer. But if you use smart footwork, you're more balanced, you move more efficiently, and you have lower risk of injuries. Today, we're gonna to look at a few ways to improve your footwork. We'll look at a few drills you can do at home to increase your speed, and I'll share a few of my secrets to keep your feet pain-free. Let's get into it. Welcome to High Five Pickleball, where we help you improve your game so you can maximize your time on the court. My name is Adam Richards, and today we're covering how to quickly enhance your game with footwork. Footwork is important because it gets you into optimal position for hitting the ball. In this video, we'll cover techniques you can use, drills to quickly enhance your speed, and a few ways to keep your feet pain-free. So stick around until the end. But before we get started, I want to give you a free gift. It's called the Path to Better Pickleball. This is a 30-day challenge focused on the 10 important skills every player needs to know. After signing up, you get a free downloadable skills guide and 10 step-by-step -step videos sent straight to your inbox every few days. To gain access, just click the link in the description. All right, let's get into it. The first technique we're covering is called the split step. The split step is a small hop that gets you into an athletic ready position where you're engaging your legs. From this position, you can shift into many other shots, push off into different directions, or pivot your feet. In my opinion, you are a bigger threat in this position because you are ready to react and push off the ground compared to one where you're already in motion. In other words, I would rather hit the ball to a person in motion compared to a person who is in a ready position because the person in motion is shifting their weight and balance, their optimal strike zone is in motion, and they may have a harder time reacting to my shot. Also, I try and time a split step just as my opponent hits the ball so I can be ready. Just like everything though, I want to include the caveat that a split step doesn't have to be a dramatic hop. It can be subtle. The goal here is to be mentally and physically engaged to receive the ball. The split step is just a repeatable mechanic for doing that. Technique number two, the shuffle step. When you're at the non-volley zone, it's important to move efficiently, to keep the ball out front and to keep your weight balanced. You can move efficiently at the net using a shuffle step with your shoulders square to the net and always returning to the center of your side of the court. A few things you'll want to avoid are lunging. If you do this, you're not able to react quickly and the deeper you lunge, the harder it is to step out of it. Also, you'll want to avoid putting your weight on your heels. You don't want to be caught flat-footed at the kitchen. If you need to cover a long distance quickly at the net, one useful technique is called a cross step. If you're not used to this, it can be a little harder to do, especially if you're hitting a backhand shot. So try ghosting this before trying it in a game. When you're playing doubles, you'll want to follow the ball and slide with your partner. And one way to do this is to imagine that there's a rope tied between you and your partner. This will help you move together and cover the court efficiently. Now let's look at the drills and exercises you can use to improve your speed, agility, and endurance. A few drills can go a long way in terms of improving your footwork. To build stronger, faster legs and more stability in your ankles, consider a few of these exercises.
In pickleball, there are certain motions and body mechanics that become habitual because of how the game is played. On one hand, you build muscle memory and you can do it without thinking. But on the other hand, your body can experience wear and tear over time, which can lead to chronic pain or injuries. This is why it's important to use good mechanics to warm up and to stretch. For example, in pickleball, we're constantly advancing toward the net. Although this is a simple motion, this motion over and over and over again can cause wear and tear on your feet. That's why it's important to stretch out your foot, your lower calf, and your upper calf. Also, it's helpful to roll out your feet before and after games. There are tons of products out there that you can use, but I use this simple ball for breaking up tension in my feet and improving blood flow. I'll include a link in the description. I also use insoles to help absorb shock. The brand I use is called Power Step. Again, there are tons of products out there, but after a few years of trial and error, this is the best and most affordable option that I can find. If you deal with plantar fasciitis or turf toe, definitely check into Power Step and the different versions they have. I'll include a link in the description. So that's it. Which tip did you find most helpful? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this content, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another update from High Five Pickleball. Thanks for watching.